We're seeing new video tonight of an alleged hours long crime spree in Stanislaus County that ended with the suspect shot by deputies in an orchard. CBS 13's Hunter Sowers joins us now with a breakdown of this video. Hunter. Yeah, guys, this is just a crazy video here and a crazy chain of events. A violent break in, a carjacking, a high speed chase, and yes, you heard it, a shootout with officers. It's that crime spree that really had it all. The suspect at the center of the investigation is recovering after being shot by deputies, but a Warning for you, some of the video in this story may be hard to see. Authorities say a violent chain of events on September 22nd started with Jason Dingler kicking his way into a home off West Keys Road in Keys. Thankfully, the family was out of town. Authorities say, though, Dingler steals a handgun that he then uses to threaten this man in Modesto. The victim's doorbell camera capturing the moments Dingler follows him through his house. Call the cops. Call the cops and you're dead. Until eventually stealing his truck and driving it to the one stop market in Grayson. Still armed with that handgun, authorities say he steals beer before the cashier hits the security alarm. It notifies California Highway Patrol already searching for the pickup truck. They eventually spot it on Highway 33. Number two lane, come up to the red light. Authorities try pulling him over, but he takes off, at times reaching upwards of 95 miles per hour before crashing near an orchard. Authorities say he gets out and starts shooting. Dingler at one point is seen on the ground, laid out, firing back at officers. As more law enforcement and an armored vehicle get to the scene, negotiations are unsuccessful. Almost 30 minutes after Dingler crashes, he starts approaching officers still armed when at least two deputies open fire. Shoot her down. One down. Authorities eventually move in to give medical aid before getting him to a local hospital. No officers were hurt in the exchange. And thankfully at that, Dingler faces a number of felony charges, including five counts of attempted murder of a peace officer. He is still in the ICU in critical but stable condition. Guys.